everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining us on today's what I call maybe the exotic video. You say, Tony, what, is, what does exotic mean? I always remember exotic as being uncomfortable going to these dark rooms. Well, those of you that have been in those dark rooms, I did not see you there. However, in the case of this car here, we're going to talk about exotic. And what does exotic exactly mean? So what it normally means is this. It means mostly hand-built. It means uh, low production figures. And it also means uh, fast, right? And for all of those features, it becomes expensive. And that's exactly what we had here when they were brand new. That's why these, and these are one of those popular cars we carry here, are so very popular, right? Because they're a great car. This one here, uh, uh, 18,000 original miles on it, great color combination, uh, clean Carfax, serviced, ready to go, and very modern looking today, right? This is 2024, we're doing this video, and this car still looks great. And a lot of times people say, well, Tom, that's a great looking car, but we don't know why it's a great looking car. So we're gonna spend some time walking around, we're gonna look at some of the luxury features that Aston Martin gives you in these, and uh, hopefully find a way to get it in your garage. All right, so a lot of times we talk about paint because the paint is really, a primer car is not so attractive, right? A beautifully painted car is attractive. This here, hand-painted, Scorpus Red uh, metallic. And so the paint is, you, you need to see it, and that's why I'm doing the video in here so you can see the ceiling and all of these things and how deep the paint is in here. If you're buying an Aston Martin, you're buying a different car, there is better paint on it, there just is. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Toyota Camry paint. It's nice paint. This is exceptional paint, right? So I like to take a second, I like to do this, test here where I say mirror finish, right? What does mirror finish mean? Well, it means that I can read exactly on the piece of paper in the paint. Letters are nice and crisp. Again, we're talking about 2024 and doing this video on this 2008 and look how amazing the condition is. This car is probably clear bra wrapped at one time and uh, right before detail that was taken off and the paint looks absolutely exceptional. All right, so when you have sports cars, they're not always easy to get in and out of. In this case here, Aston has done something a little differently that most people don't notice, and I want to point that out. And that is an articulating door. It's a tone. What the hell is an articulating door? Does it massage my feet? No, stop. What it does do is this. Uh, this makes it nice and flush. So remember, this car is 180-ish, depending on the year of the car, 190 mile an hour car, up to 200, depending on the latest versions, right? So, uh, an airflow body, no handle sticking out, right? You open it like this, but when the door opens, instead of opening this way, it opens on its way up. You see how much higher this is now? That's because it creates all this space, makes it really easy for us to get in and out of these cars. Just a nice little feature. The other thing I wanted to show you too is a styling thing, and I'm not sure that the, we can get that in the camera at the moment, but this fender, for instance, again, back to the original thing, like people say, wow, that is a beautiful car. Uh, in the case of this, look how wide this fender is. The hood is narrow, the fender is wide, giving this completely different look than any other car. Those are some of the things you get when you're getting an Aston Martin. All right, you may be buying one of these just for the performance, the sound, and things like that. However, I just want to show you a couple small things you're getting with a car like this, okay? So for instance, when I'm buying a car, I'm looking at things like uh, the decals are still in place. You say, Tom, what does that even mean? Why do I care about the decals? I'm not gonna spend any time under the hood. Agreed, you don't have to. However, these are hand-built, and Martin Askill is the builder of this car here in particular, especially the person who uh, um, did the final inspection on the car. That's still in place. You can't buy that tag. What do I mean by that? You can't buy this decal over here, and you can't buy this decal over here. What does that matter? Well, if this car was an accident, these things would all be gone. They would've been replaced with new panels, Body Shop doesn't care really about the stickers and what have you. You can't get them anyway. And that shows us even the paint code still on the hood there. This even has the original hood struts up there that we're going to replace because they're just a tiny bit weak and it probably would stay up if I wanted to. But I like to point out just a small tiny thing. If this is the worst, this car has 20,000 parts on it. If the worst is it has the original hood struts on it, that's a pretty cool thing. Look how light that is too, wow. All right, so styling, we're right back to the styling thing again. Tom, that's a great looking car. Okay, cool, check this out. The full leather interior, and if anybody doesn't know what a full leather interior is, let me explain to you real quick what it is. Full leather interior means the dash is covered in leather, the door panels are covered in leather, the console is leather, right? 
these are leather. These right here are rollover hoops, right? They're protection. So if the car was to tilt, whatever, because it's a convertible, not a fixed roof for the safety, these pop up, boom, giving you the added protection of having a coupe. Great thinking, right? The convertible top is hidden under here, this hard toenail cover, fully powered, meaning you don't have to unlatch anything, get out, tools, do anything like that. You push a button, all handled for you, just the way it should be done in an Aston Martin. But stitching up here, stitching here that matches the paint, really nice. Let's talk about the trunk and functionality. While not a huge trunk, however, it does hold golf clubs, right? They make sure that they design it. This logo, while it's patented around the world, uh, trademarked, uh, is really a spectacular logo. Uh, let's check out the inside of the trunk and see what we got. Okay, so in here, you put your bag in, boom, they made sure to do that as part of their original launch of these cars. There's a place here for an umbrella if you decide to get that. This even has the original battery tender in here, which is called a battery conditioner, right? It's because uh, a lot of people don't drive these cars very much. You just plug it in, keep the battery charged, all that good stuff, and, uh, and that way you're, uh, you're good to go. You got your great sounding dual exhaust, you got this rear diffuser, you got parking uh, sensors built in here. This is a very modern car, especially for 2008 sounds really nice when things close. All right, so come join me inside here. Uh, you know, most importantly, go back to the beginning of the day and walk up to this car and go, well, that's a great car. And you know what? It is a great car. However, it's even better inside here. And I'll tell you what, because inside here is a real deal sports car. And you say, well, Tone, there's lots of real deal sports car. And I'm going to say, you know what? You're absolutely right. However, this one here is, this is serious, right? This is uh, designed, right? For speed 220 mile an hour speedometer and 8,000 rpm tech what i love about it too is they sweep differently like this a la like an ac coupe okay got a great looking stack that's still here killer sound system that's in the car climate control uh, you can throw it in drive if you want to or full manual mode with this or hold it in gear this is a car with a clutch it just doesn't have a shifter and the way you shift these cars is just like if you're driving a manual transmission car you lift up on the gas shift it Put your foot back on the gas. You can't make a mistake, you can't miss a shift, you can't over rev it, you can't under rev it, you can't stall out. It's the best of both worlds. It's engaging, it's fun, and it is super fast, and it makes a sound like uh, like not many V8s that I've ever heard. The firing order is good, the compression is good, and that's why it sounds so really good. I'm rambling because I'm excited, and I get these cars, and I try to convey how cool they are and sometimes people don't get all that and it's like ah you need to hear this because you know what to be able to buy one is just fabulous and to be able to buy one like this like check out the visor just the visor alone is covered in alcantara right this tiny little thing and it's just perfect because the windshield is so sloped it covers just enough of there so you can see right these english make cars man aston martin bentley uh, jaguar range rover Rolls Royce, right? And we can go on and on and on. There are spectacular cars uh, made by the English, and this is one of them. All right, so let's close up the video here. We got a lot of action going on. I want to make sure we get this out to you, this new arrival. These are hand built, great looking cars, right? You say, Tom, I don't know, can I afford an asset? Can I service? Whatever. Let me tell you about servicing these cars, and this is an easy answer. Aston Martin doesn't make their own air conditioning compressor or their own power window motors and things like that. All the part numbers are on here, so if you have a mechanic that you trust, all he has to do is look at the part number on there. Nip and Denso probably makes the air conditioning compressor the same one that they make for a Honda, right? And so these third-party vendors make all these parts for these cars. And you don't have to buy an Aston Martin part that might be more expensive and that makes people nervous. That's a great feeling to know that you can get a car like this, but that we've had lots of success with them. We've traded them over the years. This is a two owner car, a two owner car, right? Around 18,000 miles. It's 2024 we're doing this video. I mean, it's a spectacular piece of history. Anyway, call us 301 816 1000. We'll tell you all about this uh, hand built exotic, right? Which we started out with. If you don't mind, hit the like button down below. It helps get our message out. Uh, share it with your friends. They might like it as well. And uh, uh, subscribe to the channel. We've got new stuff coming out all the time. And I'll see you on the test drive.